What is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today I'm coming at you from on the road once again, this time with my own personal chauffeur, special guest, Randy Santel. So this time Randy actually isn't going to be eating food. He's just driving me to the challenge and that is because I'm about to take on a five pound pork chop challenge in Lebanon, Missouri at a place called T's Redneck Steakhouse. Now Randy completed this challenge in the past and I'm really excited to do it myself because he says it is absolutely delicious and it's also a little bit reminiscent of the uh, 72 ounce steak challenge from Texas that I think a lot of you started following me from so I'm really excited to do that give this a try I love pork chops and I'm really excited to try this sauce that uh, Randy has been telling me so much about so anyways we are probably about 30 minutes from arriving at the restaurant and as usual I will give you guys the details when the food arrives So I've made it into the restaurant and the five pound pork chop has arrived in front of me. I have one hour to take down the five pound pork chop, one baked sweet potato, one roll, and also a side salad in order to get the meal for free. I am very excited to be joining the likes of Randy and Magic Mitch on the Wall of Fame, among a handful of other really awesome eaters. Anyways, without too much further delay, I'm very excited to dig into this massive pork chop. Looks delicious, smells delicious. It's been smoking for over a day, and so you know it's gonna be tender and juicy. So, I think it's time to get this going. Before you start your timer, you can go ahead and take a bite just to give us the okay. That's okay. Cool. Yes, okay. ma'am. Little bite going. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be fun. Okay, you've got one hour. You gotta completely clear that plate. Okay. Uh, you cannot stand up from the table. Okay. No one is allowed to touch your plate. Okay. And if you get sick, you are disqualified. Absolutely. All right. All right. Ready? All right. We're gonna get this started. When you're ready, ready. three, yep. two, one, and go. Boom. 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 <laughs> and yes, I'm going to be holding my fork and knife like a small child eventually. Mm. Mm. Super tender, very flavorful. What is up, Kilo Crew, and welcome to T's Redneck Pork Chop Challenge video. I'm on about 37. Ye of little faith. A lot of cutting involved. Mm -hmm. This is super delicious though. Yeah, I will say that this pork chop had amazing flavor. You could definitely tell that it was cooked overnight. It had that lovely smoky taste to it. But unfortunately, it was a bit overdone and a bit dry for my liking, which made this very difficult to chew and get down. So you'll kind of see here that I do begin to slow down almost right away but that is okay. It's understandable when you're cooking something for over 24 hours and you have to make food safety standards. I'm gonna try some of this delicious glaze. You're gonna be impressed. It's already very apple-y. Like cider. Delicious. You're good? Fabulous, thank you. Yeah, I'd never had a sauce like that before. Definitely very apple-y. You're good? It is good. A little well done for me, but good. Mm -hmm. Little dry. Hey, Kilo Crew. <laughs> he is a goober, but I was glad to have him in my corner cheering me on the whole time. I'm excited for the sweet potato. Yes, I will definitely get more into how delicious the sweet potato was a bit later, but I think my strategy here was to save the sweet potato as a bit of a reward for getting through, like, I don't know, some huge portion of this pork chop. There was just so much to go, and I knew I would need a flavor change. So, yeah, it was definitely a good strategy, I think. We're getting there. A lot of cutting. Oh, 
Yeah, I had a really great and supportive crowd, so I kind of felt bad that I had to spend the majority of my time just focusing on cutting and chewing, so I couldn't really interact with them too much. But I think they knew that I appreciated that they were there, and they saw how much time all the chewing and cutting was taking me. It was basically like a small workout, but that's part of the challenge, and it was a lot of fun anyways. Doing pretty good on time. He's gonna make it to matter what might be like. Sugar free syrup makes the medicine go down. That's true. Yes, he knows the secret. Alright, we're down to about eh, I'd say about a quarter of the pork chop left. It's going down really good so far, just a lot of cutting, a lot of chewing. Yeah, and take a look at that fork and knife technique right there, just like the 72 ounce steak challenge. Can you have them get me ranch, maybe? Ranch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's riding 30 minutes in, half life. Ranch to the rescue on this one for sure. It definitely saved the day. Helped kind of moisten up the pork chop a bit, helped it slide down. And then here I started digging into that sweet potato, which was amazing. Sweet potato is delicious. Much needed texture change for sure. The cinnamon butter is fabulous. Yeah, that cinnamon butter was definitely a highlight of the meal and made me very thankful that I chose the sweet potato over the baked potato. It was a great change up. Final bit of sweet potato. Yeah, and I know it looks like I'm about done with the pork chop here, but there was a deceivingly long way to go. So I just started using more and more ranch and just tried to power it down. Really tried to save my jaw as much as possible and let it slide down. Oh man, look at that ranch. That is healthy. <laughs> but hey, whatever gets it down, right? At least I didn't use ketchup, because you guys know I would put that on just about anything. But in this case, ranch was a better choice, I think. I'm trying to make you nervous. Is it working? Just keep chewing, just keep chewing, just keep chewing, chewing, chewing. What do we do? We chew. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Sorry about how dorky that was, but I'm watching this on playback and still feeling a little traumatized, so just trying to make it fun and lighthearted. So I hope you guys can forgive me. But with that said, that's probably my cue to end this voiceover. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. God bless America, last bite of pork chop. <laughs> Just healthy vegetables and a dinner roll. And red onions. And red onions, my favorite. <laughs> Enjoy this dinner roll. Here we go. I need cinnamon butter. It's official. Cinnamon butter, baby. Cinnamon butter deliciousness. <sighs> bye bye. Stand up. Before no, you. stand up. Before oh, you. Swallow and then you can Good stand job. up. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ah. There you go. Woo.
go. I feel like I have a whole pig in my teeth. <laughs> All right, y'all, that was a real, real close one. I definitely was getting nervous there towards the end. Uh, that is a lot of pork chop, a lot of cutting, a lot of chewing. Everything was very delicious. I think the highlight for me was the sweet potato with the cinnamon butter. That was absolutely delicious. Mm. We're finishing in 54 minutes and 48 seconds. I do get the meal for free, and I just found out I get a sweet t-shirt, and I will be joining all of my friends up on the Wall of Fame, and I couldn't be happier. And I want to thank everyone who came out and supported, and all the staff here at Tees Redneck Steakhouse. Yes. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. would love to have you as part of the Kilo crew, and I will see you in the next video.